the use of quality measures has grown enormously since uh, 1999 when we were founded 15 years ago um, if for many reasons. One is the increasing demand by consumers for more information about the quality of health care they're getting, also by large companies and employers who provide health insurance for their employees, and more and more by providers themselves who use that information to help them improve, to know where there are gaps in care and what to do. The other very dramatic change that has happened in the last 15 years is the growth in payment, health care payment being attached to measurement, so value-based purchasing. So there's been a push from all three directions that has led to much, much greater use. The uh, data sets and measures that are used now for measuring quality of care have grown enormously because there are so many different aspects of healthcare. When you think about it, it's not just hospitals or doctors, it's systems of care, it's post-acute care, it's long-term care, a whole range of things. And so we need measures to evaluate all of those different things. And the library of measures, if you want to think about it that way, has grown. And as a result, there can be a lot of noise in the system if people don't use the same measures for the same things. And then you don't have the ability to compare across different providers or across different uh, parts of the delivery system. So there has been an enormous proliferation and because of that, probably measure fatigue as providers have to report different measures to multiple different entities. Every different insurance company, CMS, um, often to different state-based or regional groups. And that's one of the things NQF has been devoting a lot of effort to is what we call alignment, bringing all of these measures together to make it possible to collect the data once, report the data once, and use it for multiple purposes.